Hello everyone, this is Chris Hum, and we are at the Crop Circle, uh, coming into the first area that's been laid down, and this is how it looks. Now, you got to understand that people have been tromping this down for a while now. I believe this is about a week old, maybe a little longer, so you can actually see how it cuts into the field here. Uh, you may see that that these these wheat stalks have not been snapped. They have been bent, but not snapped. Now you see the wheat stalk here that's straight up, and then I'm going to show you one right down here. No snapping. So whatever, whoever is creating these is not doing it to hurt the plant. So there's a certain level of ahimsa being practiced here. Uh, I, I don't want to tromp this down any more than I have to. I want to follow some of the lines that other people have followed. Amelia, the tram lines here. Uh, you'll see an inner circle right here. As you look right there, there's an inner circle that goes all the way around. That is, This actually is part of the crop circle as well. And uh, we have some other compatriots here. Hello, hello, everyone. <laughs> and we have... Uh, we have an area down here that is really laid down. So once again, I want to stress to you that a level of ahimsa is occurring and uh, do no harm, so to speak. And then as we come here, there's another cut. There's another cut. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, uh, after the video here is taken, I'm going to show you an aerial photograph of what this crop circle really looks like from the air. This is really designed to be viewed from the air to a, to a large degree. Okay, here. This was all laid down by the force that did this crop circle. There's lots of theories about who is doing it and why. I'm showing you another side view here. The upright wheat stalks and those that have just been laid down, not broken. None of these wheat stalks here are broken unless people walked on them, which of course we're doing right now. It's a terrible thing. Anyway, people bring their kids now and it gets turned into a huge playground and the kids don't really care. You know, it turns into a big game of hide and seek, which I can understand. When you're a kid, you're a kid. Okay, here is a good example. Okay, uh, when you see this crop circle from the air, you're going to see certain areas where the wheat is laid down this way and this way. You'll see little square patches of this crop circle that are like hash marks. Now, I don't want to walk too far out, but you can see these little hash marks in this crop circle right here. We're going to go further into it. This crop circle consists of three cubes intersecting. And I guess since other people have walked in here, I will too. Uh, here, here is part of the, uh, the inner workings of the crop circle. I'm going to try to make it to the center there. Here we are. I want you to be able to see this. Walking very, very carefully here so we don't destroy this. just to give you an idea of how this looks all the way around us. Once again, this one is old. Old for a crop circle would be about a week because the natural forces begin to take effect. Once again, we're out here not to destroy this, to preserve it as much as possible for other people to come and see. Yeah, Amelia Santara just mentioned the triangles here. Everything is in a form of three, a fractal equation. And yes, I know that there are going to be some people saying, oh, this is just Larry and John coming out here and laying down their boards. But I'll tell you what, if they can lay down their boards in such a precise fashion 
all power to them. Here we are. And we're coming into the center, it looks like. We have people that are very happy to be here. You can definitely feel an energetic here. For many, it's a playground. So you'll hear the people shouting and yelling and having a good day, which is good. Looking for the exact center here. Ah, here we are. Here's the center point. Right here. And I'm going to zoom in on this center point right here just so you all get a very good uh, clear shot. This is the exact fractal center of this crop circle. And when you see this crop circle from the air, you're going to see how cool it is. Uh, this is this is a very, very, very special crop circle. And uh, it's not going to last much longer as the people come down and you know, tromp it down and the, and the weather and the elements take effect, this is going to go away. Uh, you see Amelia Centaur over here. She's exploring some of, the, some of the triangles. Yes, we even have the pet dog running through the crop circle. Okay, can you, can you come here, please, um, Amelia? Yep, yep. Hi, Toby. Hello everyone, so this is a fairly fresh crop circle. Now another one has been discovered in another field not far from here. I saw the pictures of it. It looks kind of like an insect to some degree, but uh, it has nowhere near the fractal integrity that this one has. Uh, within the Kundalini context, this crop circle is a combination of an event of threes, a combination of trinities ad infinitum. Uh, it's all enclosed in this beautiful huge circle and yet right here at the center point it is once again another circle, almost like a crown of, of uh, wheat on the ground. And you'll see, as if Amelia can pull back a little bit, you'll see a segment going off this way, going off that way, and going off this way. Uh, a trinity, a trinity on the ground. This is very, very, very special. And I want to net, I want to let all the viewers know that this is about as authentic as you're going to get. You have gone from the outside of the field to the first inner cut of the uh, of the crop circle to the very center of it. And when you see it from the air, you're going to be shocked and amazed at how absolutely stunning this crop circle is. So I just want to say welcome to everyone, welcome to all the new viewers, and I want to say goodbye for the moment from, from uh, South Central England, the Avery uh, rings, to this crop circle. And just for a point of reference, you'll note that there is a, a chalk horse carved in to the, uh, to the hillside over here. This was carved in in 1837. It is not any of the prehistoric uh, um, uh, horse, uh, chalk horse drawings. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.